Hello mortals. Suppose you have a circular grazing field with an area of one acre, bounded by a fence. You brought a goat and tied it with a rope of length L with the fence. What should be the length of the rope such that the goat is able to graze upon exactly half an acre space? This problem however, is not as simple as it seems. Till now, only approximations had been made but no one came up with a specific answer. This problem however, came in different versions like elliptical and rectangular fields. Another version of the problem considered the goat to be tied outside the fence. This version is however considered to be easier than the former one. It was only recently when the German mathematician, Ingo Ellis presented a solution which is now considered to be the first complete solution. Another interesting version includes Marshall Fraser's idea of higher dimensional spaces where the goat need to graze over exactly half the volume of the n-dimensional sphere. Another mathematician, Mark Meyerson however figured out a logical flaw in the argument but the reached the same result. That is the ratio between the length of the rope, and the radius of the n-dimensional sphere, approaches root 2 as n gets larger. This seemingly complicated version surprisingly makes the actual problem easier. Now coming back to the actual problem. It was already known that the entire problem could be reduced to a single transcendental equation which by definition had sines and cosines. This however might cause problem, as all transcendental equations are not easy to deal with, or as it's said, tractable. So what he did was to frame the question in such a way such that he would get a tractable transcendental equation. This equation too might seem difficult to deal with and so he used complex analysis to find a representation for the length L which was really complicated to be implemented in the practical scenario, and so approximations were required. He said, if we only use numerical values, we will never get to know the intrinsic nature of the solution. Mathematicians are still trying to find a more practical solution to this 270 years old problem.